You know, we uh, a year ago decided that we needed for safety purposes, let alone financial purposes, to make ourselves as independent from foreign oil as we possibly could. So we've initiated a number of actions and right now the largest refinery in the entire United States is being built right at home in Washington State. We've set a specific goal of how much will be uh, biodiesel, biofuel in our, in our cars and so on. And right now I think there's a, a real excitement in my state to work with other states and other countries, giving us the opportunity candidly to lead lead not only in our country but lead the world. It's a partnership with my colleagues and I'm excited about what's going on. We set a goal which we will readily achieve of having health care coverage for all children in Washington State. We believe uh, they can't learn if they're not healthy and so we're well on our way to accomplishing that. But we also have a goal to have all Washingtonians have health care coverage by the year 2012. In this last legislative session, we began some 20 initiatives to drive up the quality of health care, patient-oriented health care, drive down the inefficiencies, which will drive down the costs, and then open up the doors to greater accessibility. So I think in the end, Washington State is being a laboratory about how to reform health care in a way that's going to really bring about high-quality, patient-oriented um, focus as well as making sure that the system is working as it should and we're driving down the costs and providing more health care to more people. My husband is, uh, his number one issue is helping veterans. He's a, a Vietnam veteran, uh, combat veteran himself. And we have a wonderful department uh, in our state government that's working with all of our military bases. We're the fastest growing veterans population in the country. Uh, and we've got a lot of uh, our folks that are away in Afghanistan or Iraq. And when they come home, we have asked Washingtonians to respect them, to admire them, and to thank them, and to make sure that their integration back into the community is totally successful with their family, with a job, making sure they're